uh, Coach Jeff Pinkman here, Sports Vision Pro's advisory board member. Uh, really baseball royalty, actually, and uh, we'll talk a little bit about that. But want to have him uh, give us a quick heads up on, on himself, his family, and uh, where their roots are in baseball. So, Coach Jeff, tell us a little bit about you, about Dad, and about your brother in baseball. Well, uh, Keith, or Dr. Smithson, the, um, uh, for the past 25 years, um, the Pinkman Academy has been operated by myself, my dad, uh, John Pinkman, my brother, Pat Pinkman, and uh, we've taught pitching, hitting, and catching lessons here in Northern Virginia, and uh, started out making house calls in uh, people's backyards, uh, working up at uh, South Lakes High School during the summers. And uh, for the past uh, 20 years, we've actually been now, had our own training facility, working with pitchers, hitters, catchers, um, baseball, softball players, and um, working with kids from ages uh, six to, to 81 years old. So. All right, good morning. It's the Jeff Pinkman here at the Pinkman Academy. Uh, summertime has begun. We've got our summer camps rocking and rolling. Um, we've got Oliver working on BOSU ball work, or these are TerraCore work. He's tossing them tennis balls with different numbers on them. And so we're working on balance, we're working on uh, recognition. O overall, we're working on really trying to get players to follow the ball better. So he's got numbers one, two, and three on the ball that he's, uh, he's working on throwing to players. Over here, we've got our rebel rack work. Uh, we're working on turning and rotating. The more hitters can turn and rotate through as they're making contact with the ball, the stronger they're gonna be. Over here, Matt's working on our vector ball. Um, what you're seeing is that each time the ball bounces, it's bouncing a different color. So players have to use um, the quick recognition skills and respond to what's happening. So if the ball bounces red, they're going to be uh, catching the ball in the right hand. If the ball bounces blue with, the le uh, with both hands, and then a ball out the screen, they're gonna catch it with the, um, their left hand. And you see guys uh, on the ladders, we've got agility work going, we're gonna have our Brock string work on a visual alignment, we've got eye charts, lots of good stuff happening, so stay tuned. Um, happy summer, everybody, let's rock and roll. And with an amazing track record of uh, kids that have gone you know, very deep, very far in collegiate baseball, all the way up to professional baseball, and uh, these guys know what they're talking about, uh, and they also know what they're looking at. And that's one thing that, you know, we've worked together for almost 20 years, uh, with his brother, his dad, and himself. And uh, the thing that I'm always impressed by is their ability to recognize something in a baseball player that could be visually related. Um, and again, as you mentioned, whether they be a catcher, a pitcher, or a hitter, but seeing some things that, you know, maybe just don't look quite right. And have you ever had your eyes checked is usually their first words that come out of their mouth. So what are some of those things that you look for as a coach, uh, that the coaches out there when they're looking at their own players think, well, have you had your eyes checked lately? Or, or have you had a good comprehensive eye exam, not just maybe one of those quickies at the pediatrician. So what do you look for as a coach? Well, um, on from the hitting side of things is that uh, when we do our initial evaluation of guys, we do a full on video analysis, we do a hit tracks assessment. And uh, what we find out is uh, we're able to see exactly where they're making contact with the ball. Uh, using the hit tracks, we're able to track and, and, and see whether or not they're hitting the ball in front of the plate, whether they're hitting on upon the plate, um, if they're fouling balls off, whether back behind them, uh, whether they're hitting balls too far out in front of them. And, uh, a lot, mo and most times, uh, players are not uh, making decisions fast enough because they're not able to process what they're seeing fast enough. And so uh, the capabilities of us teaching them how to, when to react, what, what to look for, where to look, and um, the, the possibilities of, of enhancing that just with a few simple drills is, is, uh, is, is fun and exciting for us. Yeah, it goes back to a lot of the concepts we talk about in Sports Vision Pros, that, that sport vision is more than wearing glasses and contact lenses, that there are things, as Coach mentioned here, related to visual processing, reaction speed, things like depth perception. You know, that's really a sports performance evaluation that we're uh, providing education for, for doctors across the country to take our academy courses. Uh, and again, if you're affiliated with a doc in your location, uh, they can take our academy course and learn things about uh, sport vision and all those different aspects that can be tested, um, evaluated, and to Coach's point, trained. So last part is, you know, when we do find those things, when we talk together, I get these calls from Coach all the time saying, hey, you know, we think there might be a visual component. They come in, we do an evaluation and assessment. We pick out those visual components and maybe start them on some vision training that they can do in our office or maybe at home. But some of the things that there are done also here at the Hitting Academy and the Pitching Academy. So what are those carryover drills that then a coach could do that might look like baseball, but also have that visual component. Sure. The uh, one of the things that we invested in were the the, the strobe specs. Um, well, that's the older version of them. <laughs> uh, whether it's synaptic glasses, um, 
The um, using those glasses really helps to identify a lot of those characteristics in terms of when players uh, are reacting, how are they dis making decisions, um, and just by putting on the glasses, starting on the on the lowest frequency, um, and just tossing them some simple balls. Sure, it's a it's a little investment, but at the same time, it is totally worth it to be able to help players out, and you will see them in improve in instantly from um, from just tossing a few balls to them and them getting adjusted um, and then processing those uh, the, the, the need to react to a ball and respond to it quicker. And so um, whether it's the synaptic glasses um, or even just kind of working on uh, wor uh, tossing balls at them, having them catch it or hit it out in front more, um, those, those ideas. We use the uh, Jugs small ball pitching machine and have players work on uh, responding and reacting to different colored balls. Um, and, um, you know, it, it, it's, it's a very different atmosphere having players try to catch things uh, versus actually try to hit things. And so um, when they're catching things, it generally tends to be a little easier than when they're trying to swing a heavier implement. And so, um, you know, we start there, start kind of on the ground floor of things, and then we're able to graduate into moving balls faster, using larger, uh, bigger balls, as well as um, using them in a different a variety of uh, contexts in terms of um, recognizing pitches and allowing them to now hit them as opposed to catch them and just kind of uh, recognize them. Yeah, and one of the things that we've always talked about it, and I think I, I respect so much about them is their, in, their emphasis on safety in the game of baseball. Uh, and you know, a lot of coaches we talk to are asking about hitting drills and how do I get my players to hit better. They kind of make the link between vision and hitting, uh, but not necessarily so much so in catching. Uh, but also a very visually demanding position in the sport of baseball or, or softball. Uh, but pitching is another thing, and, and they've been huge advocates for vision training for pitching um, because of those comebackers to the mound and, and the rapid nature of that ball getting back, hit back at the, at the pitcher and not being in the right position to protect themselves or not having the reaction speed it takes to get out of the way of that ball, make the play, but at least protect themselves. So um, the safety aspect of baseball can truly be enhanced uh, if those visual skills are assessed uh, and trained properly. So. Um, years ago, pardon me, uh, years ago um, from the uh, Cleveland Indian organization, um, my father went to spring training. This was like maybe 1995 or 96. And he saw them throwing little Frisbees at the pitchers. And so they'd go through their throwing motion. And then all of a sudden, these guys would be tossed 10 little Frisbees. And, chuck, 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 chuck. and the pitchers would be required to move their gloves around and try to respond in more of a chaotic fashion. So it's not, it's not a pre-planned movement, but it's something that, well, my gloves over here. Now I got to move it over here. And now I got to move it there. And it's such a different atmosphere. And we've had countless families call us and go, wow, I'm so glad we did those drills because he, he caught a ball and we would have busted him right in the mouth or would have hit him right in the chest, but he caught it because we actually were working on those, those aspects. Yeah, I've seen dad do that with the tennis balls and the, and the, the catchers and the firing balls at mm -hmm. them and things that are safe, uh, but get that reaction, get that drill um, to enhance a skill that can help them stay safe on the field. Yeah. So um, I'd hand, ask all coaches, you know, certainly we're talking baseball, softball here with Coach Pinkman, but uh, soccer coaches, football coaches, baseball coaches, basketball coaches, whatever. Um, Post on our community chats uh, on Sports Vision Pros. If you're a coach, send us a question. If you're a coach, post a video. Ask us if there's a visual component or something you can do. Uh, we have a huge network of coaches across the country and hopefully across the globe uh, that can chime in and give some uh, some input, just like Coach Pinkman here from our advisory board. So we're looking forward to learning more from him and the rest of his family uh, on a future segment. So until next time, Dr. Keith Smithson and Coach Jeff Pinkman on Sports Vision Pros.